How's it going guys? My name is Andrew Murphy from Down Under in Gold Coast, Australia. So hopefully if you got the Nanlink app, you potentially have the new Pavo tubes. If you do, then this is going to, I'm going to go through how to set it up on the app and also how to connect the new tubes as well. And then all the other kind of like lights will slowly come as they kind of like upgrade the firmware and uh, allow them to connect to the app. Right now guys, before you can actually use the app on any of your lights, you will need to update the firmware to the latest one because then it enables the Bluetooth feature and enables you connect to, to connect to the actual app itself. So you will need just some sort of USB-C. And then basically just load up the firmware on that, plug it in here, turn, it on and it will basically ask you if you want to update the firmware. You just go through it and you just place, press yes and then you basically just wait for it to update the firmware. I'm going to turn that off because I'm pretty sure that has the wrong firmware on it. Uh, and then once it's updated, then you will have that Bluetooth function and you will be able to connect to the actual app itself. So make sure you do that before uh, you actually try connect to the app, otherwise you won't be able to do it. I'm guessing that some of the firmware will be available. It will slowly start becoming available the more I guess that the team works on it and the more uh, lights that are actually compatible with the app. So just give it time. If it's, I'll leave some links down in the description below to where you can actually find the firmware for this so you can update the fixtures that you have so it works with the app. All right, so when you first get into the app, you'll be greeted with just a blank screen and this is where it's a little bit confusing. So hopefully as they kind of like update the app, they make it a little bit clearer about how to do this. But essentially the first thing you want to do is click on the little three lines at the top left and uh, click new scene, and this is where we're gonna make a scene. So let's just go, I don't know, lights. Perfect, create. And now what this is gonna do is gonna allow us to connect all our lights to the app. So I guess the scenes are kind of like, if you wanted to connect a whole bunch of different lights and set up the lights to be random colors and all that kind of stuff for specific scenes. So I guess you could build a new scene for say, like I could have one for the studio and then I could have one for a commercial that I'm doing, like all those kind of things. That's what the scenes are actually for. Once we've built a scene, let's go lights, we can go into that and now it has a little thing where it says tap to add new fixture and this is where we can actually add the lights. So if we click that one, it comes up where you need to choose via Bluetooth because we're not using the actual transmitter box. So we can go Bluetooth and now so this is straight away gonna start scanning. So what we need to do on our lights, at the moment on the uh, PavoTube 15X, 30X and I'd say 60X as well, wow, that is very bright. Uh, you have to reset the Bluetooth before it will show up. So if we go through uh, the menu and we go to the menu one at the very end, we can hit the switch and go down. We go to Bluetooth or BT reset. We press the plus icon. Then we press the switch icon and then the mode icon. And then that, at the top, it'll say Bluetooth. It'll kind of get cut off if you're still on this early firmware. But then when we go back into the app, we can see that it is actually shown up. So if we click on that one and we choose done, now we just have to wait a little bit for it to connect to the app. Once we're in the actual app and we connected it, we'll have our PavoTube 215X. It'll tell us the uh, DMX channel it's on, so it's currently on channel 11. We're connected via Bluetooth. We have the battery status, which is really cool. Uh, and then we have this little light, which will turn it on and off. So we go into the light. Basically, we've got uh, all these different modes. So if we click on the CCT mode. That'll bring up the different kind of like menus, I guess, or different types of modes, similar to what you would have if you press the mode button on the actual fixture itself. So we've got CCT, HSI, effects mode, pixel preset, uh, pixel effect and presets. So we just go through, we've got CCT mode. Again, we can do our dimming, uh, our CCT, basically any control that you have on the uh, actual light itself, our green magenta tint. Uh, but it's just way quicker because obviously we can just quickly smash it on the app itself much quicker rather than having to, you know, press the button and hold it and slowly go through. So in terms of that, it is much, much quicker. If we go into our HSI mode again, very quick, we've got our dim, we have our uh, different colors. So we can go blue, red, green, just quickly smash through it. If we click on the sliders, we can do our actual hue and saturation if we know the exact colors that we want. Currently the saturation on the beta version isn't working. So hopefully by the time again they release the full app that will be working for you guys. But then Hue and Dim worked on this. That works absolutely fine. 208 is my sweet spot. Bam, 208, beautiful color. Uh, and then another cool thing as well, if we go into the color matching, which is the little uh, camera icon, if we now, you can see how filthy my uh, studio is. If we go into this, we can now, let's go this orange, nice orange. 
That'll do a good job. There we go. But again, because the saturation isn't working on the beta version of my app, it's not going to be as close as the final version. Uh, all right, so let's go up to HSI and let's go into effects mode. So here we have all the effects just like you would have on the uh, back of the control. I believe these are the exact same ones. That, the ones that are going to be different once we get into the actual pixel mode. If we go up to effects mode, we have now pixel effect. And this is where the app can do a lot more than what the actual uh, menu system on the back of the pixel, uh, the tube, pixel tube can do, I guess. So if we go up to the hue loop, now we have a few different ones in here. The ones that you can't control on the tube itself is uh, fire and driving, I believe. Let's go to the cool ones because these ones are all kind of standard. The, the reason that you get the app is for uh, these process, the multicolor and all that. So let's go multicolor. This is one of the coolest ones. So, wow, well, that lens is, that is filthy. The reason you get the app with the new tubes is because it has these, wow, has way more control over the actual uh, pixel effects that you can have on here. So multicolor is honestly one of my favorite feature of these new X-Series tubes. I have done a full tutorial about like how you can do multicolored lights with a single light. I'll leave it linked up here so you can go check it out. At this stage in the beta app, you can only control four groups of pixels, no matter what tube you're using. But in, again, in the future, you're gonna be able to actually control individual ones. And so now if you like using the fire effect, uh, on the, just the standard fire effect. Now with the pixel mode, it's much, much better because what they can do is you can actually control like the color and intensity of each individual pixel to make it more organic, I guess, rather than just having the one tube doing the flashing and the CCT and all that kind of stuff. So you can see here in the fire effect now in this pixel mode that basically like the individual pixels are doing their own thing, which again, makes it a much more organic fire effect rather than just having the whole tube doing it. So you can see here, if I put my hand in front of it, just like how much more organic it looks. And obviously, you know, you need to kind of like tweak it and make it good and stuff. You can even have uh, it off. So you can have it black, which will just give you way more flicker. Driving as well is another really, really cool one. So we can add street lights in. This one's super cool. So you can see kind of like, as we go past, it's like, let me dim this down a bit. Uh, we can kind of see, it looks like street lights are going past. This would be more handy for like the longer tubes, like the 30X and the 60X. But yeah, then basically at the top, we have this little heart and this plus symbol. And essentially, if I just do this real quick, essentially when we press that, we can save a preset. So if we really like this fire mode, uh, we want to save it, all these settings, we can just save this as fire, I don't know, custom whatever, preset saved. And then essentially if we wanted to go back to this at any time, if we go up to the top and then press preset, we have our fire custom and we just click on that, press enter and it will go straight back to that. So now if we go back into the main scene where we have all our lights. If we click on the top right where we have the three lines, we can start doing a few cool different things here. So we can basically have uh, a new group where we can obviously, so we've got uh, Pavo to, so we've got 15 X's, 15 X and we go create. Then basically what we can do is we can choose the fixtures that we want. So say if we want to choose all the different 15Xs, we can put that in a group. Uh, and then when we click on that, it'll control all those lights in that group, which is super duper cool. Uh, and then also we have this console, which will be able to control all the different lights really quickly as well. This is just basically uh, the intensity. So if you want to kind of go up and down with stuff or turn them on and off. You can just get all the lights in one. Uh, and yeah, that's basically like just a quick rundown of how you'd actually set up this app. If you do have any questions about uh, how to use this app or anything about it, leave them in the comments below. Obviously I am on the beta version, so this might be a little bit different to the app that you're actually using right now. If you are watching this uh, anytime in the future, I guess. But the same principle should apply. It should be basically the same concept about how to set it up and uh, use all the different effects.